and welcome back into the pregame show. Charles Bishop Neely, we got two stalwarts here who are the representatives for Jackson State today. Niles got it and Shador Sanders. Yes, welcome into the pregame show. Yes, How you doing? I'm doing well. First Swack hey, Media don't you Day. like how he started the interview? Like I man, know, right? How am I doing? First Swack Media Day, how has it been for you? Uh, it, feel, it feels normal. You know, we always have cameras always, sure. always around, you know, just growing up. That's just the lifestyle you live. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Now, it's been say? great for me just to get a feel for the swag and get a feel for um, everybody's vibe here. I like it so far, though. Yeah, yeah. So y'all been nailing the interviews, man. The folks have been coming by the JSU table. Then y'all just finished your big segment up on ESPN3, which was live. And uh, there was a couple questions thrown y'all way to bite y'all, get y'all to bite the hook on a little smack talking, but y'all look clearly focused on what y'all have to do. Yeah. yeah. So what's the outlook? I mean, the thing is, like, I'm not I'm not a player that talks about what I'm going to do or care about really who we're playing. My main thing is just making sure. Personally, I'm there. Yeah. Mentally, as a team, we're all bought in together. We all just know it's family. So it's like, it don't matter who the opponent is yeah. whenever we all bought in together. And one thing you touched on up there, Shador, is that you feel like when you practice, you practice against the best defense you're going to face. For sure. Yeah. We practice against the SEC defense. Wow. We in a sweat. <laughs> yeah, you heard it. You Make heard sure you get that. Yeah, yeah no doubt, no doubt. Uh, in terms of just those workouts and putting in that time uh, in the off season, what does that look like for both of you guys? Um, you talking about like my off season? Or yeah, like, yeah. In terms of uh, preparing yourself okay. for this upcoming season. Oh well, every, every day is really just it's really just about bringing it to the table and competing. Like if you don't go out there and push yourself, then I don't know how you gonna push yourself on that field. Yeah. Like if you got to push yourself every day, so we know that we know it ain't, gonna, ain't nothing gonna be easy, ain't nothing gonna be given to us. Like that's why we don't go out there and talk talk smack and all that, because only only real component we get, only real opponent we get is ourselves. Yeah. And like, we playing against ourselves. And now so I want to congratulate you because you something got announced today. You know, the past couple of weeks, Coach Prime been saying I only got two starters. Uh, Shador Sanders, QB1, and Dylan Spencer was going to be starting on the offensive line. And today he announced, well, I got a third one. Yeah, because – so how did, that, how did that feel to hear him say that on yeah. ESPN? He knew that. that. Guy? <laughs> I know he knew it, but he knew it. was public, though. In practice, what he been doing to us, he know it. <laughs> nah, it was crazy. Like, it's just crazy to be around. Like, sometimes you got to sit there and realize you're really around the Sanders. Like, you're really sitting here, like, on national TV. Sometimes I'll be sitting there, like, I'll be in a whole other world. Like, I'll be just – I'll be vibing off in a whole other world. But I'm just sitting there like, dang. I'm really here. I'm really sitting here with Deion Sanders, Shadow Sanders, and I'm really finna play. Yeah. I'm really finna be on, on, on prime time playing fam. You like it's crazy. He, the fact he just announced me and, and gave me praise like that. All he does is push me more. Yeah, it, it motivates me. Some guys get comfortable with stuff like that. I'm trying to go to the top. So you're not resting on that. No, no, no. You know, Neely touched on it. Both of you guys have had such a business like demeanor in terms of uh, tackling questions or, or whatever with regards to media day. But does that span across the team in terms of? Uh, putting in the work and the, the business-like demeanor of knowing what's ahead. Yeah, you know, we all came to Jack State for one reason. But it is goofy people. You know how Nugget oh, is. You know course. Nugget, nugget, <laughs> nugget, nugget <laughs> crazy. So just with the whole defensive mindset, it's just different. You know, D-line, they, they like killers. DBs, they they talk. They do all that extra stuff. How CJ, Shiloh, how they are. They just – you know how it is. If you be in practice, you'll yeah, understand. They, they, they real they crazy. They chirping out there. Yeah, they chirping for sure. Yeah, now, that's what we come to, we come to handle business. Like that's what that's what they want us to understand. Everything is professional. Everything is business. Like they want us to run like almost like the NFL. If anything, like the NFL. So everything is everything is is business. When we it's time to have business. Time to have fun. Sure. And when you and when you act to handle the business, it, it turns into fun. Sure. Nine times out of ten. So mm-hmm. that's all we do. That's that's why it's it's easy for us to come out here and do this because they prepare us to do stuff like this. No doubt. Well, 45 days or so, Chuck, keep up better, better than I do. So let's let's call it 45 days to Orange Blossom Classic. That means about 42 days before we all head that way. Week one, lights are bright, national TV, SWAC East opponent. You know, it's opening up with a SWAC game. You look, you know, they they saying, you know, start with you, QB1. You're a freshman. Definitely. You're a freshman, though. What about it? Man, you're a freshman. Yeah. That's a big moment. Yeah, it is a big moment. You ready? I feel like I'm ready for it. Yes, sir. Whenever you do what you got to do to prepare for it, then it's just it's just normal. It's just like practice. You know, Shador uh, and, and and Coach Prime talked about uh, how much uh, of a help it was in terms of uh, having this past spring season uh, for you, uh, watching it uh, and and watch watching the demeanor of the team and everything that went on. How much did it help you in terms of your progression as a quarterback? Oh, it helped me, you know. It, mentally, mentally, it took me to through a lot of different things. It, it took me through 
like understand understanding the mindset of the players we had. So week by week they're worried about the opponent, but I'm sitting here thinking like we we we, we worry about Southern. Like you got you we worry about small teams like that and we had an opportunity to play bigger teams, higher teams with a lot more talent. So I get I learned a lot in the spring. I learned the speed of the game, a little bit different, but you know in practice going against SEC players, uh, it really helped. It really helped me. So same thing for you now. It's like you were on the sidelines. You know, you you could practice just like you do it, but you couldn't play in the games. What was it like? Whether it was frustration or jubilation to see moments like, man, I would have made that play, or man, I wish I was that. What, what was what was that like? Now, don't get me wrong. It was hard. Like a few games, I was the ball boy. I'm on the other sideline talking a little stuff. I'm over there, yeah, man. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> I ain't for the play. But, like, nah, it was it was hard for sure. Like it's hard sitting back watching my team. But all I can do is motivate and be there, be there for them mentally, and just tell them like. We're just trying to calm down, keep everybody cool. Yeah. That's, that's the main thing. Like, coach teaches us not to freeze, and that's what we can't be. We can't be all, we can't be jumping and freezing. We got to go out there and handle our business because can't nobody hold us down but us. Yeah. Well, I know the Tiger fans out there, man, through the pregame show are excited to hear from you two, offense and defense. Uh, but before we get out of here, it's still July. When we get back, we got our turf field coming online, and we'll be working out on campus. But August come and the pass come on. Yeah, for sure. What does that mean? I'm ready to go against this guy in practice. I'm ready for it. He think he's been studying blocking our screens and all that. I got some for it. Studying all that. I'm ready to put them pads on. That's what we all looking for. The whole team ready to put them pads on. Yeah. It's too much. It's too much of being in the gym and, and, and jerseys and stuff. We need them pads on. Yeah, we do need them pads on. So obviously, keep defense. You crazy. No doubt about yeah, it. Good stuff. We can beat good defense stuff. down, man. <laughs> we beat defense down. It's over with. We know how this is gonna go, though. You know, we, <laughs> no, you know, offense, offense, offense. They sell the tickets. Defense win games, baby. You know we're going. On. Hey, you know what? It's good y'all had this good back and forth offense, defense. It's kind of like me and Neely back in the dorm when we were playing Madden with each other. Yeah, yeah, man, <laughs> man, man, yeah, man. We want, we want, that, we want that for real. Huh? Yeah. Neely want to build like that. Neely, I ain't, I ain't now just do it. Right, exactly. Nah, nah. Somebody had to lead the cheers in the stands. I had an important role in this thing. Don't diminish what I bring to the table, Chuck. Definitely. Yeah, I got, I got forty-two thousand people on my back, man. There you go. Carrying this section. <laughs> but, but speaking of that, man, you know, uh, we're managing this pandemic. Uh, folks are, you know, getting vaccinated, practicing social distancing, all those things. So we're, we're looking forward to 100% capacity at the stadium. For sure. So this spring, y'all were on the sideline, and it was a crowd there, but it was nothing like what y'all seen on pictures. But you got to understand, I came from a small private school. That yeah. was some fans to me. Okay. Those yeah. were a lot of fans you, to me. One thing you touched on before when we talked, this is your first time having a band. First time having a band like that, yeah. Yeah, it's different. It's different. It gets very yeah. loud, for sure. Yeah. So now you're looking at... Man, 42,000, 50,000 black folks yeah. in the stands. So you know that, that, that equal 100. That equal 100. <laughs> that equal 100. <laughs> so, how, how, you know, you, you guys are talking about how prepared you are up for the moment, and I know you're not focusing on that as far as your work ethic, but how much does that excite you to be able to perform in front of that kind of crowd, the sonic boom going, the fans going? Like, is that is that hit going to be just a little bit hard? I'm excited. I'll be in my room, and all I hear is the band practicing. Like, it's like they don't sleep. They getting it. They getting it just like I, I, I got to get up and do some work, too, because they getting it harder than me sometimes. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, no. Nah. The yeah. band is about 3 o'clock. They, they hitting it. So yeah. I'll be like, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting, though. I can't wait. I really can't wait to be in front of my own people and hear that band. So. Yeah. I just know it's going to be a real special moment. Whenever we get out there, everything clicking, the, the, the plethora of receivers we got. Man, Not to mention, we got we got a first group, second group. The second group is the first group. So scout team going to be crazy. Yeah, I don't so. even want to peek the curtains back on all that. So, I, so I'm going to yeah. pull it back a little bit because uh, we talked to Coach Prime. I was about to say his dad, but Coach Prime, since we're in this environment early. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when they do the seven-on-sevens, the coaches mm -hmm. are not around. But, you know, we're out there with the pregame looking at I, I seen him get on them receivers yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, he got a, he yeah. got a gun, and when they don't when they don't get it, he get them. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's a respect there. thing for yeah. sure. Uh -huh. You know, mm -hmm. you know they know I got their best interest. So, mm -hmm. right. And I know how to talk to different players. I'm not gonna come crazy yelling at him if I know he doesn't respond well to that. Sure. So you know I'm gonna talk to him a certain way. But I thought you were a freshman, man. Whenever we get off the field, it's all love. How do you manage that fine line between getting on guys or backing off? You gotta understand. You gotta spend time with him. You gotta know the different personalities. Like Lotto, he crazy. The, the, the receiver, he crazy. You know, Keith, one of them guys. You just gotta say some small to him. You can't. You can't get on him. You can't. You don't need to yell at him because he's an older guy. He's mature. He knows what he's doing. Sure. So he just needs a little reassurance sometimes, and then that's it. 
So, so unit to unit uh, defense. How do y'all pick them up offense? How do y'all pick them up? You know, like are you are you challenging them to do more? Are you challenge them like, hey man, give us give us some points now. Like, how's that dynamic work? I mean, we do our smack talk, but. I feel like when they, whenever they they score, they make a big play. Oh, that's that, that's time for us to get out here, right? Oh, we gotta go now. Yeah, nah, <laughs> yeah. we tripping. Like, for like sure. especially when they do some crazy stuff, like a crazy catch. Oh, no, nah, y'all tripping. Bro. Yeah, I gotta go. That's yeah, who that's, keep Corbin yeah, in. Lock in. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's who keep Corbin in. I'm just ready to, you know, just O line D line. We start doing team, you know, so I can get a real feel for this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's yeah, some guy? Now you're gonna have on either a green or red jersey. Yeah, I'm gonna have on don't, green. Don't I'm gonna have me. on green. Yeah. So Niles, I know you're gonna get back there, but you know, gotta, you gotta pull up a little bit. You wanna, <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna give him a little glimpse too? You wanna? I'm right here. Yeah, you know yeah one right of them. Here. One of them ripped my shorts though in practice one time. <laughs> I just off a of grab. I'm like, bro, how do you even grab and rip my shorts? I think one of the funniest things I've seen in the practice, like I think it was like Malik. He came around the corner. He started walking with you. He walking behind you, like just let you know I'm here. Like I'm right here with you too. Like, yeah. If from. I had on the same jersey, I, I wouldn't. I don't know how I'd have felt after that. I tell you what, man, look at the competition aspect. Yes, sir. Competition and depth, man. We appreciate you guys joining us on the pregame show. Niles Gad, the QB one, Shadur Sanders. Hey, a lot of more of these conversations take place this fall. We're gonna sure. see y'all out there on the practice field in August, and definitely gonna see you in Miami. Definitely. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bishop Neely here on the Black College Sports Network.